With Earth Week right around the corner, this morning we are reviewing some sustainable switches that you can make around your home. The bathroom is often the smallest room in our house, but it's also the room that can have the biggest environmental impact. Ashley Jordan from the Natural Resources Defense Council is joining us this morning with some tips on how to be more eco-friendly. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Of course. Well, we want to start with the many ways you can reduce your carbon footprint at home, and we want to start in the bathroom. Yes. So one of the simple switches that you can think about in your bathroom is opting for bar soap as opposed to liquid hand soap or shower gel. Bar soap being smaller and lighter to transport is going to be associated with fewer carbon emissions. It has less packaging and it requires less water to produce. The other thing that you should be thinking about in your bathroom but is often overlooked is what toilet paper you're purchasing. Many Americans are unaware that our toilet paper products often come at the expense of climate critical forests like the Canadian Boreal. If you instead opt for toilet paper products labeled as being made from 100% recycled content, these will have just one third the carbon footprint and require half as much water to produce. If you're interested in seeing how your current toilet paper products stack up, and what sustainable alternatives exist, you can check out NRDC's Issue with Tissue Scorecard, which grades a number of toilet paper brands on their sustainability. So what about the other rooms in our house where we spend more time? Well, I don't know, my husband might spend all his time in the bathroom, <laughs> but for me, the kitchen, the laundry room. Yes, one thing that comes up in the kitchen is that it actually requires less water for you to run your dishwasher than to hand wash. Hand washing that same load of dishes is going to require gallons upon gallons more. So this is one of those circumstances where you should actually embrace the convenience of having a dishwasher. The same goes with your laundry machine. You should be conscientious of only running it when you have a full load that needs cleaning. It's also more energy efficient if you opt for cool settings versus warmer or hot water, which are more energy intensive. And it's also easier on your clothing and can help it last longer to opt for cooler settings. I recently learned that about the dishwasher. And the other thing I did is I have one of those composting bins now on my counter. So I just scrape everything in the bin and put it in. And I think I heard that like, even if your dishwasher is only three quarters of the way full, it's still more eco-friendly to run that than it is to actually like do the dishes by hand. So it was fun to learn that because it's obviously easier to run it in the dishwasher. Now, most people right. will spend the majority of their time in the living room or the bedroom room. So what improvements can we make over there? One of the things I think about really throughout your home, but in the living room in particular, where you might have a lot of devices plugged in, is that these devices continue to draw power even when they're not actively in use. In fact, an NRDC report found that this idle energy load can account for on average a quarter of our average household energy consumption, which means a quarter of your electric bill paid for no good reason. There are a couple things that you can do to combat this though. One is simply being more conscientious around unplugging your laptop or cell phone once they're fully charged. You can also purchase smart power strips for around your household. These will help to monitor and automate energy supply to these devices and cut off energy when they're not actively in use, which means savings for both our climate and for your wallet. Yeah, it's those vampire devices that really get you I here too, especially with the gaming system. So all good tips this morning. Thank you so much and happy early Earth Day, Ashley. Yes, you too. Thank you.